Alfredo. Keeping people safe and limiting the spread of this virus is our top priority. Therefore, I am closing city playgrounds, outdoor fitness equipment, and athletic fields. We are encouraging solitary exercise. As you know, Governor Cuomo announced New York State is on pause through his executive order. I definitely understand how difficult it is to keep kids entertained and how hard it is to be cooped up at home. My daughter, husband, and I are driving each other crazy. But this virus lives on hard surfaces for up to three days. Your kids and loved ones can get sick from being on the same playground as someone who has the virus and was playing there before you. You and your child can bring this virus home. We all need to be smarter and safer. We will also temporarily remove some playground and fitness and athletic equipment where we can to help people comply with the executive order. Many pickup games, rugby, soccer, and other play has happened on our city courts and fields despite the numerous calls by our medical officials and also our elected officials to exercise social distancing. Therefore, all athletic fields, as well as basketball courts, will be closed to ensure people make the right decision to protect themselves and others. The dog park at Cobbs Hill, also a place where people are gathering and not exercising social distancing. We're asking everyone, if you're bringing your dog to the dog park, please exercise social distancing. This is a problem in our community, I understand. But let me tell you a story. My sister called me from the greater uh, DC metro area just recently and told me that three of her friends is currently in ICU in DC. Right now, because despite the messages that had been given, they decided to have a card party. And at that party, this disease was transferred by someone and now three of her friends are in ICU. One of them, they're not sure if they're going to make it. I'm telling you, everyone that has been exposed to COVID-19 has not been tested, even those that may have some symptoms. And you know, the, the medical professionals have said this repeatedly. We can all assume that we have come in contact with this particular virus. And we have to exercise social distancing. We have said time and time again that this disease is transferred from hard surfaces and being outside, playing basketball, um, in contact with one another, rugby, all of those things make you more prone in, in, to actually getting this particular virus. And so we have to make sure that as elected officials, that and you know in charge of these parks that we make every effort to ensure the public that we understand your frustration but you have to make a better decision and since people have not been making a better decision we'll make it for you and that is the reason why we are going to close our basketball courts on some courts we will be removing the 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 rims on other courts uh, and other playground equipment we'll be removing certain things we are at asking this community to actually have solitary exercise. We want you to be outside. We want you to go for a walk, maybe take a run, but you cannot have these situations where you're having these types of gatherings. The very nature of this virus is through contact between people. And we're asking you to please help us flatten the curve. And you can help us flatten the curve by actually staying away from other folks and staying home. Or if you have to go outside, and I know many people, I took my daughter on a bike ride yesterday um, around the block, you know, it's okay to do that. However, you have to exercise in a solitary way where there is not this one-on-one -on -one or, or multiple contact with multiple people and individuals. Now, I, I am going to turn it over to our Spanish interpreter who is going to come on and then I'll come back up and answer any questions that you may have. I'm also joined by Commissioner Daniel Lyman Torres who will also um, be here to answer any questions that you may have. 
This is so very, very important to the entire community that we need everyone to get this message. Mantener a las personas seguras y limitar la propagación de este virus es la prioridad principal de la alcaldesa. Por lo tanto, estoy cerrando los parques de la ciudad, el equipo de ejercicios al aire libre y los campos de atletismo, incluyendo las canchas de baloncesto y tenis para cumplir con la orden ejecutiva del gobernador como de poner el estado de Nueva York en pausa. Entiendo lo difícil que es mantener entretenido a los niños y lo difícil que es estar encerrado en casa. Mi hija, mi esposo y yo nos estamos volviendo locos, pero este virus vive en la superficie de objetos por hasta tres días. Sus hijos y seres queridos pueden enfermarse por estar en el mismo patio o cancha de ejercicio que alguien que tiene el virus y estaba trabajando o jugando allí antes que usted. Usted o su hijo puede traer el virus a su casa. Todos necesitamos ser más inteligentes y estar más seguros. Eliminaremos temporalmente el patio de juegos para niños, el equipo de ejercicios al aire libre y cualquier equipo deportivo donde podamos ayudar a las personas a cumplir con la orden del gobernador. Además, muchos juegos han continuado en las canchas y los parques de la ciudad a pesar de las numerosas llamadas de mi persona y otros a mantener distancia segura. Por lo tanto, todos los campos de atletismo, así como las canchas de baloncesto y tenis, también estarán cerradas para garantizar que las personas tomen las decisiones correctas para protegerse y proteger a los demás. Nadie es invencible. Entiendo que muchas personas y jóvenes y mayores piensan que no contraerán este virus o que no se enfermarán gravemente. En pocas palabras, si cree que no puede enfermarse o que no puede morir a causa de este virus, está equivocado. Puede enfermarte, puedes enfermarse usted y enfermará a otras personas, incluyendo a las personas a las que ama. Por favor, deje de jugar y ejercitarse en nuestras canchas. Están cerrados. Yo seré la primera en salir cuando vuelvan a abrir, pero por ahora, mantente a salvo. Animo a nuestros residentes a practicar ejercicio solitario, caminar, andar en bicicleta o trotar, pero haga lo correcto, protéjase y otorguele a sus vecinos su espacio. Podemos y debemos aplanar la curva. Justo hoy, nuestros hospitales anunciaron sus planes para expandir su capacidad en respuesta a este virus. Espero y rezo para que no es, nunca necesitemos esas camas adicionales. Es por eso que debemos actuar juntos hoy para practicar el distanciamiento social y mantenernos seguros al quedarnos en nuestras casas. Gracias. Y también tengo conmigo a la Comisionada de Servicios de Recreación y Juventud, Danielle Lehman Torres, y nos complacerá en responder sus preguntas. Gracias. And I want to thank Ibero Action uh, America. Ibero American Action League for allowing um, this interpreter to come and be a part of our press conference. This information is very, very important for the entire community and want to recognize uh, the leadership, uh, the executive director uh, for allowing this uh, press conference and all of the press conferences that we've done so far to be interpreted for our entire community. Now I'll take any questions that you may have. Thank you, Mayor. The first question will be from Jeremy Mule at City Newspaper. Jeremy. Hi, Mayor. Um, I am just wondering, does this apply to any of the county parks that are located within the city? I know that all of the, the, the town and county parks that um, they have already released that they are closing those parks and some of them have um, exercised, roped them off, but absolutely. I know that the county executive also agrees with um, us in the fact that social distancing is the best method here. Um, most of the parks uh, that we have seen and heard and um, gotten pictures from, and I can't tell you the number of calls that I've received today, as well as uh, Commissioner Lyman Torres have received from concerned residents about individuals playing on these parks. And as I said earlier, it's okay to go for a run. We're we're asking people to exercise solitarily and by themselves instead of in these particular basketball, rugby, soccer, other kickball games that we have been seeing around our community. It's not good for everyone's health. And our goal here is to flatten the curve. 
Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Jeremy, do you have a follow-up? I'm set. Thank you both. Our next question, Mayor, will come from Sean Lehman at the DNC. Uh, hi, Mayor Warren. Um, are you generally concerned about this lack of compliance that you're seeing with the recommendations for folks to stay at home and engage in social distancing? I'm very concerned at um, what I'm seeing, especially when it comes down to what's happening in our, our parks because of the fact that I think that people have a false sense of security when they see that we live in a community of about 210,000 people in the city of Rochester, greater uh, Monroe County area, about over 700,000 people. And they look at only, um, you know, today, I think it was announced 160 people haven't been diagnosed or confirmed cases. That's not you know, to say that that's the only number of people that have this particular uh, virus. That's very important to note. I actually got a call this morning from um, one of the nurses at a local hospital who was very concerned because she said, listen, I don't think that people are listening. I don't think that the message is coming across as clear as it could be that we have all, as Dr. Mendoza, as well as others have said, been exposed to this. And people think that because the numbers aren't in the thousands that it's not going to impact them. That's not true. If we do not exercise social dis dis distances, um, dis dis well, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, if we do not exercise it, then we are going to see a situation where the numbers start to increase. And just a quick follow-up in terms of enforcement, you talked about uh, removing pieces of equipment, including maybe basketball rims. Um, how, how do you anticipate um, that you will be able to enforce uh, this order of people just gathering in large open places? Well, the, the one thing that we don't want to have to do is have a heavy hand, and that's why we're asking people to not do this, right? So we don't want to have to put police officers or security out there in these places to ensure that this doesn't happen. I mean, many of these places, these are adults. We're asking you to be good stewards, to understand that the message that has come down from every level of government is that this is a very serious virus, that it can be transferred from person to person, has been transferred from person to person, that it lives on surfaces. We are asking you to comply with what we're telling you for your good and for your family's good. The fact of the matter is, you know, sometimes people don't understand until it hits you skin to skin. Well, we're not, we don't want you to learn the hard way. We don't want our hospitals filled with people in the ICU on ventilators. We don't want people to have to make a decision on, you know, you know, on, on going home or not going home or infecting their kids or their mother or father or their, their loved one. It doesn't have to be that way. As long as you listen to what we're telling you, and the things that are happening on our courts and in our parks and what we're seeing is that people are not taking this seriously and we're asking to do so. Exercise social distancing so that we can flatten the curve. We can't do it by ourselves. You have to help us do that. Thank you, Sean. Uh, our next question comes from our friends at Channel 8. Who do we have on the line joining us from Channel 8? You're up for a question, please. Okay, we're gonna move on to Spectrum News. Uh, Andrew, I believe you're on from Spectrum. Your first question, please. Yes, thank you. Um, to, to clarify, parks themselves aren't closed. And so I know you were mentioning this, but maybe you can elaborate. This isn't to say people can't go outside and enjoy Cobbs Hill Park, Highland Park, get some fresh air. They just need to change how they do it. Absolutely. The parks are not closed. We're closing the basketball courts, the 
pickup games that we're seeing on the basketball courts, the rugby games that we're seeing on the field, the soccer games that we've seen that that we've seen as well. And so we're asking our community to not engage in that type of behavior. If you want to go to Cobbs Hill and take a walk around the reservoir, please go ahead and do that. If you want to go for a run, go ahead and do that. If you want to go out and um, you know play a singles game of tennis, you can do that. However, it is the issue of the gathering and the, um, the congregating and the playing of these contact sports uh, that in, in the fact that this virus lives on surfaces, could live on surfaces for a period of time and people can contract it from one person to another. So if you want to have individual exercise, solitary exercise, please go ahead and do that. But please do not congregate and gather together to play basketball, to exercise on our uh, exercise equipment, to even go and play on the playground equipment. That is another issue that we're seeing with a lot of our children are playing on a playground equipment. Um, you know, the commissioner was just telling me in Atlanta, there's a young lady that's now on a ventilator uh, who's about, I think, eight or nine years old. We do have a case here of someone under the age of 10, I believe, that has contracted uh, the virus and, and been tested positive. So oh, even on our playground equipment, we are asking that our children not be um, on those as well. Andrew, do you have a follow-up? Do you foresee a future? I, I know you were saying you've so far been disappointed um, with how people are not taking this seriously enough. Do you foresee a future where you may have to close parks and take more um, severe actions? I know that I was just on a conference call with mayors across the country, and um, some of them have taken that step. If we start to see the numbers rise in a way that's uncontrollable and we see that people are not compliance, complying with this social distancing, then definitely we will take other measures uh, that we must take in order to keep the community safe. Because at this point in time, public health is our number one concern. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, next, we'll move on to 13 WAM News. Tyler? Yes, uh, my question is if we do, if people are going to see, if they do see a bunch of groups of people still at these parks, will there be any punishments enforced? So at this point in time, we're not issuing fines, we're not arresting people, we're not doing anything like that. We have sent out our police officers at times to say, you know, understand that social distancing is, is in um, in order and we're asking you not to do this. But, you know, that's a heavy hand. We shouldn't have to do that. We should be good stewards of one another. And that's what we're asking people to do. We shouldn't have to. And I don't want to have that type of heavy hand um, where, you know, people are going to get fined or, or something else. But if it comes down that numbers are starting to increase and people are not in compliance, then we'll have to take it to another level, um, which would possibly mean, um, you know, not necessarily arresting people, but taking it another level and, 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 and making sure that they are not in our parks and shutting down our parks altogether. Tyler, do you have a follow-up? Yes, I was just wondering if the uh, mayor had a comment on the proposed layoffs from the Rochester City School District or the, the her thoughts on the proposed budget. I have not had time to view the proposed budget. Um, I know that the superintendent released it last night. Uh, it has not come over to uh, City Hall yet. Um, it's not final. It, it was released to the school board. I will review that once I get a copy of it. I do have um, a call with the superintendent coming up, and I'm sure that that's something that we'll discuss. Thank you, Tyler. Uh, we'll move on to channel 10. First question, please. All right, seeing on channel 10, Randy at XXI, do you have a question? Uh, hi, Mary. Yeah, just a real uh, simple uh, one clarification. Um, with Cobbs Hill Mayor, I assume that new 
uh, exercise equipment that uh, was installed last year. Is that, is that off limits during this crisis? Yes, it is. It's one of the questions that and cause that we continue to get um, because we know that with the gyms closed, all of our fitness buffs uh, have been utilizing that equipment, but it is not, uh, there's no way for us to keep it clean and sanitary. Um, and so the, those um, lifts and uplifts and they are off limits, those things that you can do um, you know, as far as the jumping and things like that, um, those are available, but the actual lifts, um, you know, chin-ups and things like that, um, hard surfaces, we're asking our community not to use those um, because this virus can live on those surfaces for a significant period of time. Okay, thanks. I'm all set. Mayor, that's it for the questions we went through. Does, uh, do you have anything you'd like to add before we finish? Um, Commissioner, is there anything that you wanted to add? Um, I just really want the community to take this very seriously. I know that it is difficult um, to not be able to utilize this recre recreation equipment, to not be able to go out and play basketball, but we're trying to let you all know it is for your own good. We are not doing this to be punitive. We're doing this because we care about every member of our community. We want your families to be safe. We want you to be able to enjoy these equipment well into the future. But if you're not here because you made a bad decision early on, then you know your family's not going to be able to have you be a part of their lives. I'm trying to tell you that across this country, there is something that is happening. You hear from the governor on a daily basis. You heard from the county executive telling you that this is a very, very serious virus. This is not a game, people. We are not saying this to scare people. We are saying this because we love you. We care about you and we want our community to be healthy, but we cannot do this by ourselves. We need every member of our community to listen to what we're saying. We need you to take it very, very seriously. We need you to know that this is something that can be transferred, not just to you, but you can transfer it to your loved ones. And we believe that you have the, your loved one's best interest at heart and you have to make better choices and decisions. I'm not saying don't go outside and walk around the block or ride your bike or have a good time uh, with your kids walking up and down the street. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you cannot gather at our parks and play basketball. You cannot play soccer. You cannot do those things that are going to cause problems. And I just did something that I wasn't supposed to do, which was touch my face. And this is the types of stuff that we're talking about. So now I have to go and put hand sanitizer on and wash my, wash my hands. That's also for me as well. We are each other's keeper, our brothers and sisters keeper during this time. We want you to be safe, but we can only be as safe as each other allows, as we allow each other to be. So please comply with these rules and regulations. Do not go out and play on these play apparatuses and utilize this equipment. Um, do not go out and have a basketball game because it is a matter of either getting this virus or not. Thank you. Okay, thanks.